weird things happen on a baseball field. The story actually started in Detroit. Ball players never forget. It's part of the game. That's how it ended sometimes. Oh, gosh, Gene, well, books have been written about Gene Luck, and you could write some pretty good chapters just on some of the great things that uh, he said and the way he thought about the game. It was just different, and he was a bright guy and a witty guy and, and looked at, and studied the game so much. All the saber metrics and, and everything you have now, it was like I was all in his head. He was just amazing. So one time we're talking, he taught me so many little things about the game, and he said to me one time, you know, there's something that's really funny that happens in, uh, in, in between a pitcher and a hitter. I said, what? He said, well, it only it happens with left-handed pitcher pitch to a right-hand hitter or a right-handed pitcher pitch to a left-hand hitter. It doesn't happen same side, right against right, left against left. But if one of those pitchers throws to the other hitter and he fouls the ball down at his feet, it doesn't have to hit him or his shin or anything. It doesn't have to hurt him, but just fouls the ball down at his feet. If the next pitch will be a fastball thrown on the inside corner, the, pit, the hitter will take it. And he says, it's, a, it's the darndest thing. And I said, why? God, I hadn't, I hadn't really noticed that. Why is that? She said, I don't know. It's page 38 of the baseball handbook. I, I don't know. It's, and I mean, that was just his way of communicating. It, you know, baseball has stuff that happens, right? So I kind of file that away, and I'm watching from shortstop a lot. And I see page 38. Situations happen. Guy fouls the ball down on his feet. And I've seen it right hand against right hand. He would do that, but then not take that pick. There's just something Gene was right about opposite guys, you know, pitchers and hitters. Well, Gene leaves the Twins and ultimately goes to manage the Angels. And they come to the Metrodome. And uh, Jeff Zahn is pitching for the Angels. And I'm in the lineup. And Jeff Zahn's left handed and I'm right handed. Well, in the meantime, uh, I'm not thinking about page 38 uh, at the time. What I was thinking about was, okay, Bob Boone's a catcher, and Bob Boone wanted to be a manager, and Gina told me, you know, Boone is always picking my brain about stuff. He wants to know everything I'm thinking, and he, he's challenging me on stuff, and, and I'm trying to, you know, teach him, and, and he's a funny personality because he wants to, he wants to be as smart as I am, right? So he wants to figure all this stuff out. So I'm kind of thinking about how I'm going to be pitched to, you know, based on what Gene's told me about his catcher, right? Well. And one at bat against uh, Zahn, I fouled the ball down, down at my feet. And I think to myself, uh, Boone, I, no, I bet you anything. Mox told Boone about page 38. I said, I bet you anything they're going to they're gonna come in here, try to, Boone's going to try to come in at page 38 me. So I look for a fastball in and get it and just hit a rocket down the left field line and Doug DeSensei, the third baseman, made a great dive and catch. And I was out, but I hit it hard. You know, I really, I was ready for it. Gene told me after the game, he said, you'll never believe what happened. He said, Boone immediately came right over to me after you hit that screamer. And he said, I thought, and Gene says, oh, don't think. Smalley knows all about page 38. <laughs>